Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the video or welcome to the live stream if you're watching this live. I was just about to um, get all of this ready okay. to ship off. Hi guys, and welcome. Hold on, I've got to mute myself. To the live stream if you're watching this live. <laughs> I was just. About... Sorry, schoolboy error as usual. Yeah, I'm just about to ship off a load of stuff to Amazon. Uh, I was getting this ready last night. Uh, I've got to sort out printing off the labels and getting all of this labeled up and ready to go. And I thought I'd see if I could get some company and I would live stream and see if anyone uh, pops in. I get a lot of questions about Amazon. So hopefully I'll be able to answer a few of those questions I get as I go and share with you some of the equipment I use. This is the box that it's going in. I need to reorder more boxes because I'm nearly out again. Um, I'll put links below to stuff that I use um, that might be useful to somebody out there. A few people popping in. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Richard. I just thought I'd go live while I am labeling up all of this to ship it off. And hopefully I'll have a little bit of company while I'm doing it. So that's the plan. We've got Selly Kelly, George Ross, Kaz. Tat on the time. Hey, how you doing, Chris? Right. So I haven't printed off the labels yet. So that's going to be my first job. If you're not into FBA, this might be a bit um, dull or pointless for you. Sorry about that. If you are, maybe there'll be something in here that will be useful. Uh, these are the labels I use. Uh, again, I can link those below, but they're, they're readily available all over the place. These are 27 per page like so, and I just stick them in my laser printer and print off the label. So that's gonna be the first job because I have logged all of this into a shipment and it's ready to print out the labels and then we'll label it up and have a chat while I'm doing it. That's the plan. George says, oh man, not FBA. I've got a mountain to send in myself. This is kind of the tip of a very big iceberg, George. I'm probably in the same boat. What you can't see behind over there is a stack as tall as me of toys and games that are waiting to go in. Um, so, yeah, I'm in the same boat, George. Hey, Mel. This is interesting as I keep thinking about trying FBA but don't really get it. Okay. Well, if you've got any questions, no matter how sort of simple you think they are, this is the moment to put them out there, Mel. I'll try and explain it as I go how FBA works. In fact, let's start there. What is FBA? FBA is fulfillment by Amazon. So if you want Amazon to pick and pack your stuff for you, you can send it into the warehouse and they deal with all the uh, picking and packing and fulfillment and returns and all of that stuff. There are added fees involved. It can get expensive on the fees. So you really need to look into that side of it. Uh, the storage fees, because obviously Amazon is storing it at their warehouse. Um, and there are FBA fees that cover the picking and packing of the item. So look into that side of it. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do, let me just see, there's a lot of people commenting. Great to see this live, says Alistair Nickel. Greetings, everyone. Just started Amazon FBA. So paying for, so paying for each item sold. Okay. Yeah, you can, there's different levels of it as well. Different levels of accounts you can have um okay let me we pay a monthly amount to have i think they call it the pro seller account i'm not sure what's been so long since we started it um same labels as i use for my books says chris nick you're missing the columbia versus japan game that's fine i can catch up the highlights i'm quite enjoying watching the highlights actually little digestible versions of the matches Okay, right, I'm going to print off the labels. So if I screen, I should be able to screen share this bit actually. When you send in your stuff, again, if you're new to Amazon or like Mel, if you're thinking about having a go, um, there are a couple of ways of doing it. You can send everything in and ask Amazon to label it for you. Your stuff has to be labeled so when, when the item is picked and packed, they know it's yours, it will have a unique barcode on it. You can ask Amazon to do that for you and pay them a per item fee. I have always labeled them myself. So when you've logged in all of your stuff, decided what price you're going to 
sell it for, you can then generate the labels, which is what I'm going to show you in a second. It sounds more complicated than it is. Uh, let me show you. So if I share, let me find the right window. Right, this is the shipment. As I can see it here, I'm definitely screen sharing, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so these are all the items. So I've logged these in. Um, there's plenty of videos out there about how to set up a shipment. So perhaps go and look at one of those if you're not sure what I'm talking about. But this is where you will end up with all of your things here. These are the quantities. Um, I've already entered all of the prices. These are the conditions here. Use very good. Use like new. New, for example. If we come down here, we click print labels for this page. It will generate a PDF, which appears down in this corner on my Mac. If I click on that, it will generate, it will put all of those items into the format of labels that I choose to use, which is 27 per page. You can choose different size labels. So if I now, let me get my sheet of labels. I think it's just one sheet. Yep. One sheet. Uh, stick my labels in the laser printer da, da, da. and print right I've got to switch it from my zebra because that wouldn't be good uh, change Samsung For some reason it always defaults to 90 something percent there we go right print those off let me come out screen share while it's feeling about doing that Come on, printer, don't mess up now. Right, so my printer is just firing up. It's the first time I've used it today. So give it a second. And then when the labels are printed off, I'm going to have to label all this stuff up. And then it's just a case of packing it all in this box. I pre-weighed this. Um, I tend to send up orders as near to 15 kilos as I can, and that cost me, I think it's five pounds and 10 pence or something um through amazon to send it up to 15 kilos uh through ups so it's all going to go in that box anyway so there we have the labels all printed off ready to go and then it is literally a case of finding the items and sticking the labels on so some stuff that you send to amazon you will have to do some prep for i don't think there's much if anything in here that i've had to prep but if there is, I will let you know. So this first one is a Steve McQueen box set. This is new and sealed, so I've got nothing extra to do with that apart from sticking the label on over the existing barcode. And that's it. Good to go. I'll make a stack down here. Uh, Great British Bake Off mug. I had a load of these. I sent a load in last Christmas and cleared most of them. I held a few back that were selling on eBay and sold a couple, but it, they were really hard to shift. I've had one left sitting around for ages, sat on eBay, and I've just got fed up looking at it. So I'm just going to send it in. Hopefully it will get picked off. The rank for this is terrible at the moment. It picks up at Christmas and when the bake, up, bake off is on. It's got a little cookie cutter in there as well. Not much money in it. I'm just clearing the last one. Anyway, so that label on over the barcode. Good to go. You could give that some extra padding with bubble wrap or something, but it's quite a sturdy box. So I'm happy with that. I sent a load in before. didn't have any problems. Although saying that, I sent a bunch of, um, I sent four of the England mugs I'm selling at the moment in a week or so back. Uh, one sold instantly. And the other three were smashed in the warehouse. Um, but at least I'll get refunded for those. Right. Now, apples to apples. I've had these on eBay for a while. Ah, stock avalanche. Had these on eBay for a while. Weren't shifting. I've decided to send them in to Amazon. And probably they'll sit there till Christmas because I've priced them quite high. Um, these are both the same condition. So I've just put quantity two used very good. I think I put on these. Is it very good? Yeah, used very good. So they will both have the same number because they're 
effectively identical items. Now, this is something with anything that can open up, that could come open in the warehouse and all the bits fly everywhere. So what you have to do is seal these up. Um, what I tend to do these days, I'll do it now as we go. Oh, that is I use these little labels. I don't know if they're going to show in the light. There you go. You can see little clear labels. I was using smaller ones, but I'm finding the bigger ones more effective. You see those? Anyway, these just go over the edges and seal it up nice and professionally. You can just do it with sellotape, but it just doesn't look professional. That to me looks looks good so I put one on each side if I feel it needs it I'll do all four sides but I think this will be fine so I'll do opposite sides um, I'll pop a link below to these as well I really like these you can get them in various sizes I think these are about four and a half five centimeter ones um, and I, I get through loads of those so that's that that is labeled and sealed up that's not coming apart uh let's have a look in the chat quickly while we stop for a sec question how do you work out the cost of postage per item i don't deal with the postage to the customer amazon ships the item out to the customer um so that isn't my issue if you're talking about how do i work out the cost of posting this lot up to amazon it's five pounds per box. So if you wanted to work that out per item, you could divide the number of items, the five pounds by the number of items, if that's what you mean. Okay, so the other apples to apples. Again, over the barcode and we'll quickly stick this on. If you just join me, I was gonna finish off this shipment and I thought I'd go live and see if anyone would pop in and speak to me peter cummins it's approximately 50p tops uh you must be talking about the cost to ship it up to amazon then okay so that's that one nick's got a zebra hasn't he i do have a zebra but for these i used my laser printer and i just print them out in one hit like that Sorry, I've got a runny nose. I've, I've been sorting out so much stock in here the last few days. There's dust in the air. And it sets off my alle allergies. So apologies for that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You have to tape up the board games if second hand. Yep, that's what I was just doing. No idea why he's not doing that. Doing what? The th with my zebra... I'm sure I could probably get different labels and put them in, but the only labels I've got are the ones the post office supplies, which are these six by four. So this works for me. This is how I've always done FBA, and it, it seems fine. That's what I do. What does FBA stand for again, please, says Sean. It's, it stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. So it means they fulfill the order. So when the customer buys it, it's already at their warehouse. So they pick the item and pack the item and send it out. You, if you don't want to go the route of FBA, you can do Merchant Fulfilled. Um, I still do Merchant Fulfilled stuff, which means I have the item here on, the, here on my shelves. When the customer buys it, I pick it and pack it and send it out. Um, the advantages of FBA are... A, it gets the stock out of your house. I mean, all of this stuff will be gone today and I will never see it again. Um, so it's great for saving space and time and effort. But there are fees involved. You have to pay for that luxury. Um, the other advantage is that because Amazon are dealing with it, people can use their prime benefits against your items so they can get next day free delivery, etc. So you can tend to demand a higher price. Okay, let me just scooch down. 
Hi Sue, how are you doing? Cheese and onion crisps, Maltesers, coffee and tatsters. What could be better? Fantastic. Oh, sorry, it's just jumped. I'm just going to catch up in the chat and then we'll carry on. Um, Claire and Leary, so hi, I'm at work, but I'm about to join FBA. Okay, well, this might be helpful for you. For you. Excuse me, that's my uh, cheese and ham sandwiches repeating. Right, I'm going to scooch down. Peter's doing another gaming haul soon. Good stuff. Peter Cummins, question, Nick, have you ever made any mistakes with FBA? I bought some RA, as in retail arbitrage, so buying stock new, either online or in supermarkets or shops, uh, and had to sell at a slight loss as the market had been flooded. Have I made mistakes? Hell yes. Um, thankfully, they are few and far between, so you just have to bite the bullet when you make a mistake and, and cut your losses. Um, but yeah, it can be very cutthroat. I've certainly had quite a few where I've got in on a deal and I've had to wait way longer than I imagined for the price to recover on stuff. Um, but yeah, I've had deals where I've had to cut my losses and just get rid part of the game. Matthew Bowden, you are slightly better off sending three boxes of 10 kilos each for around eight pounds plus that. Okay. Yeah, can't argue with that. Mm -mm -mm. Right, I'm trying to get to the end of this. Tat on the time. Question, what rank do you try to stay under for toys and games? I've never sent any in, but for books, I can easily go to 800,000 rank. I do look at the rank, but I tend to go into either camel or keeper and see how often it's selling because the rank as you'll know chris the rank on an item shoots back up at a crazy pace but it may have sold last week and then the the rank has just shot up um so i tend to go by um if it's got a really good rank i'll just send it in regardless if it's got a higher rank some of these board games for example are quite high but it sells two or three times a month and there's very little competition for example so I will send it anyway. And I do well on stuff like that. That's quite obscure, but it sells regularly. And then as long as you're pricing quite, you know, keenly. So when that odd sale comes in, it's you. Then I think you're fine. Um, but everyone has a preference with that, don't they? How quick they want stuff to turn over. Okay. Right. I'm going to crack on with this. Doing these is a compromise between actually reading what's going on and doing what you set out to do. So, right, let's carry on. So we've got, oh, that's right at the bottom of the pile. Let's find something else. Talking of RA, uh, I was in Tesco the other day and I bought a bunch of RA, a load of which has gone on eBay. And then this little uh, boxy Kitsan Bluetooth speaker. They had a uh, on offer clearance, so I grabbed it. So that's going straight in. Um, mm -hmm. Right. Picked up another GTA at the weekend. Uh, I've had a few of these recently. It's not great money on Amazon, but it has a fantastic rank. Talking about ranks, and um, I have sold so many at Amazon. It sells and it sells quick. Done. Do, 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 do. Right, CD that I've had on eBay, X Factor Songbook. It's terrible. Um, I'm sending it into Amazon because I think it's more likely to get picked off over there. But there's very little money in it. It's just a case of I want it gone, so it's going. Similarly with this Tommy Cooper, very little money in it. I've had it on eBay. It's just getting hardly any views and it's not getting picked off. And I think that will go quicker on Amazon. So getting rid. 
Um, more RA. These wrestlers, tough talkers, two different characters. Um, they were Tesco's again, I think. Now, I've got to get the right ones here. Big E. Is that Big E? Which one's which? When does it say? Oh, uh, right. he's Big E. All right, then, Big E. With um, toys, if it's a plush and the plush is open to dust and elements, then I would bag it. I'm pretty sure, let me know what you think, guys, that I'm okay with these. It is open, but it's not a plush. So I've been sending stuff like that in, not bagged. I've not had any issues, so but let me know what you do. I'll drop links below to um, some of the packaging I, I use as well. You can get it so cheap for bagging stuff. But I don't have any plush or anything I've had to bag in this shipment. Right. Another wrestler. This is Kofi. Kofi Kingston. Means nothing to me, guys. Oh, Peter's there saying, for those wrestlers, wouldn't you wrap them? See, I don't think I need to. I may be wrong. The only bit showing is this top. Don't know. Claire and Leah, we are live tomorrow at 8 p.m. I finally convinced her. Oh, is Claire coming on? I finally convinced her, stroke, found someone to pretend to be my imaginary wife. Sounds fun. I'm live again tonight, actually, uh, for the tat chat. Um, but Tom is stepping in. So that's going to be fun. Right, Buzz, bought this, um, what day are we? Tuesday, on Sunday. Um, the box is a mess. So obviously I have fully declared that this is going in as used. Um, but these are quite good. I think I've gone high at about 30 odd, I think. Paid a fiver for it, but I've sold this before. Um, done quite well. It's your buzz quiz. We we had this when we had our PS3. It's fantastic. It's a really, really good game. In fact, all of the buzz games we love to bits. Can't find the sticker. There it is. Yeah, we had this and it's great. It's got the wired buzzers, this one. We had um, the wireless buzzers pack, but this has the original wired ones. So that's that done. Question, what time Habu tomorrow? Good question. I'm hoping Andrea's messaged Martin and found out. I need to email him. In other words, I don't know, Peter. <laughs> Right, I'm trying to find Lyric. Where is it? There it is. This is another one. I've had it set on eBay for a while. It wasn't going anywhere, so I'm sending it into Amazon. I don't know why I put it on eBay. I sold this at Amazon a number of times. It's not great, to be honest. I'd probably be better off stacking that here and waiting for Q4 on that, but it's going in now, so it's done. This was more RA. I bought a stack of these. I cleared the shelves in, was that Tesco? Tesco or Asda, I can't remember. This one, as you can see, it, it's it got a dent running all the way across it. Oh, you can see there. Um, so I didn't send it into Amazon. I sent the rest in about, I don't know how many, eight or 10, and they all sold really well. I stuck this one on eBay, um, described as such but it wasn't selling. So I'm going to send it into Amazon. Uh, I've done it used like new and then just describe the fact that it's actually new and sealed, but it has some packaging damage. You have to be super careful with Amazon. If you describe something as new, it needs to be pristine. Something else here I'll show you in a minute that is going in as used, even though it's sealed. Uh, right, what have we got? Simon Optics. Where's the barcode? That's that. So Cluedo again bought on Sunday. 
think I paid two or three on this. Brand new, never been used, but where someone has pulled the price off, I can only assume, they've ripped a chunk of the cellophane. And it's also got a bit of a ding in this corner. So I'm still asking a fair old whack on this. I'm still asking 50 quid. Um, but it's going in and used like new. And then I've explained in the description, it's actually still factory sealed, but etc. Um, I think new, the cheapest new on Amazon was like 80 or 90. Anyway, that's that one. That's that. So as you can see, Cluedo Harry Potter. I don't know if that is showing. Used like new. Barcode. It may seem overcautious, but I'd rather with Amazon be overcautious. Um, I've chatted to Tom at length about this stuff, and you don't want to get in trouble with them. Uh, right, two game of life. Again, these I've been trying on eBay. Um, again, these were retail clearance items. And the this is factory done. You see, they use those little round. You see them? I don't know if you can. The same labels that I've been using. I think they look professional. So yeah, I've been trying these on eBay. eBay is flooded in them. I just want to shift them now. I'm trying to make some space over here. So I'm sending them in, but there's not a lot in them. I looked on Camel and um, historically at Christmas, the price doesn't hike or anything. It looks like Amazon barely, if ever, sells out. It's a huge selling game. It's like top thousand game. Um, so I think they're going in at 15. Um, which leaves a little bit of margin for me, but not a lot, to be honest, after fees. But I want them gone. I want the space. So the decision has been made. Right. Oh, and this. I showed this on Sunday in our hall. And uh, some helpful people in the chat were looking on eBay and saying it was between sort of 30 and 40 around that sort of price. Um, there's a listing for this on Amazon. Um, nobody has it in stock. Uh, it's unavailable. But I looked at the, the history of sales on Camel and it sells regularly when it gets in stock. So I've done used very good at 80 pounds. Uh, it's sold for around that sort of price before and I'm happy to wait. So if we can get that, I will be chuffed. <coughs> yeah, I've had all of this out. I took every figure out last night and checked them over. It looks like it's not been used. Or once, maybe. Immaculate condition. So, really happy with that. And two more. Another one you may have seen, I got a haul of board games, uh, some really nice ones. This was one of them, and that one I've elected to go. The Amazon route. Have I sealed this? Yeah, I've already put the little seal stickers on. So do that. I think I've gone 30 maybe on that. There's, I've already, um, the other games from that job lot, I have drafted and they're gonna, I'm gonna do the pictures when I've finished here. Uh, that's going on eBay. Well, all of these are going on eBay. I think that's going on at 30. This is actually better than I imagined it was, this nuclear war. It's a uh, 50th anniversary edition and I'm going for, I can't remember, 40 or maybe 50. It, it's a good one. Um, and then Scythe, the ridiculously heavy one. Uh, I've ended up deciding I'm going to go 60 as a pair. But this is eBay again. I could have sent this into Amazon, but I've decided on eBay because I wanted to bundle. Uh, with Amazon, that's another good tip with Amazon. You can't kind of bundle up stuff and send in something that's, you have to basically sell your item as it's listed on Amazon. You can't decide to send in a bundle of stuff 
and and do it that way. So yeah, that pickup I got um, for forty pounds was really good. It included this as well, which is going into Amazon. Again, I sealed it as you can see just there. I think I did four on this. Yeah, it's got four, one on each side and i can't remember what i'm sending this in that it wasn't amazing 20 or 30 something like that see you later peter thanks for popping in how do you remove how do you remove those plastic sticky security tags with the metal strip in i carefully cut them off but it's always a pain i tend to leave them if they're on Let's see if I've got one here for you. Generally, they're, they're stuck on shrink wrap anyway, so I just leave them. I've not had an issue with that. Okay, so last one for this shipment. Done. And there you go. So all that remains for me to do will be to... Go back into that um, FBA shipment, print off the shipping label, um, which is all done within Amazon. It gener they generate the UPS uh, shipping label for you, and then it's done. Um, I use a UPF, UPS drop-off shop. You can have them come to your house and pick it up. Uh, and that is it. Okay uh karen sells clothes hi there karen i don't do amazon but questions might be of interest is there shop levels like ebay and is that a fee calculator there are different levels as in you can be you can have like a now i don't want to get this wrong it's been so long since we've changed anything we do on amazon we pay a monthly fee so we don't have a per item fee uh whenever we sell although we do incur the fba fees etc um but you don't have to have the pro level um, account, uh, if that makes sense. It depends on how much you're turning over, how many items you're selling. Um, it's quite easy to work out when it when it's beneficial to upgrade to the monthly fee one. Is there a fee calculator? Yes, there is. Just Google Amazon fee calculator. Um, Amazon have their own page where you can input everything and it tells you the fees you're going to incur. Okay. Um, Boney N. Watched another YouTuber's vids. They claimed they're earning a hundred thousand a year profit on eBay for two hours a day work. Possible question mark. I can only tell you. Uh, what I do I can't comment on what someone else does or doesn't do I would take everything you see on YouTube with a pinch of salt I think there are a lot of people perhaps exaggerating things but I, I couldn't comment on what someone else is making I don't know um, in life though if things are too good to be true they usually are too good to be true Right, let me just scroll down. Hi, Karin, how are you? Hi, Nick, are you ungated on toys and games? Yes. And we became ungated on, um, what do you call it? Um, cosmetics and stuff, which was great. That's really helped, actually. Any Steve Jackson stuff is good. Sold Munchkin quest last month yeah that's a great one if they come to your house uh bet that costs loads more i i don't think it does uh peter cummins and you use newspaper for space filler in your box i was using brown paper until i saw you do this yeah i've always tended to use um newspaper for amazon I think Amazon stipulate they don't want you to use like bubble wrap or plastic void fill. I think paper is the only thing that they're cool with. Is that still correct? Um, 
these boxes are quite huge. Um, what I tend to do is pack it as neatly as I can, get my Tetris game on, pack it all as neatly as I can, then I cut the box down pretty much to size, and then just any bit of void I will fill with newspaper. What I tend to do now, um, I found that our local Asda has the Evening Standard in, um, and there, it's a free paper. So I tend to, if I can, towards the end of the day, so I'm not taking papers that people may have wanted to pick up and read. If I'm down there at the end of the day on a bit of a beer run or something, um, you know, towards the end, when just about when they're going to close, I'll be in there and I'll grab a bunch because um, they're only going to be recycled at that point anyway. So I have a supply of these permanently, and I use that for a lot of eBay stuff that goes out as well. uh yeah matthew says their ups pickup is free i tend to drop off because it's literally five minutes down the road anyway and it means i don't have to wait in um if if i'm out and about with andrea or whatever i don't have to worry about being here for the ups man i'll just drop it off whenever and that our drop off shop is open till 11 o'clock at night so it's really really handy peter cummins they don't like foam watsits no um what do they call them peanuts tap peddler hey how are you doing missed most of this just been to collect another car full of tap from the auctions wow you're going for it mate anyway that was all i wanted to share really um hopefully there will have been something in there that was useful if you want to look into doing amazon there are plenty of other videos on my channel and plenty of other videos on youtube that explain what it's all about. Um, if you have any specific questions, uh, drop them below and I will try and find time to answer those. If you want to get hold of any of the equipment I've talked about, the boxes, I can drop the link to those, these labels, uh, suffocation warning labels, all that sort of stuff. I will make sure there are links to those below and in the comment section as well. So hopefully you can make use of those. Um, thank you, those that managed to catch me live. We've got 87 people in currently. And yeah, I hope that was useful. Um, I'm going to be live tonight with Tom uh, for the tat chat. Uh, Zaheer's taken a week off and Tom has kindly stepped in. I'm not sure we've got a subject, uh, but if you want to drop in and ask us a question, uh, please do. Um, just quickly, Chris says, I use bubble wrap for sending my books up there. I've never had any issues. I use bubble wrap to wrap the actual product in, but as void fill, I'm sure I read somewhere on Amazon that they only want you to use paper, like recyclables. Um, bubble wrap I use quite often. If I'm sending up loose toys or anything that's fragile, I will bubble wrap it. Um, Heinek, do you have a pro account? Yes. Tap Peddler. Amazon FBA is something I really need to get into. Now I'm full time. Already started picking up some sealed stuff, ready to do a box. Yeah, I said this before. For me, Amazon FBA makes sense if you're doing a certain amount of volume. I mean, I've been quite slack recently, but I've, for example, in the last couple of weeks, I've sent this will be my third 15 kilo box. There's not a great deal of numbers in this box, but it's a lot of bulk and weight. Um, but I sent a big shipment of media recently, which was loads and loads of, of numbers. And that's when it makes sense to me because um, the fees can be quite steep. They put the fees up on media recently, which kind of killed that a bit. But it works for me. Ooh, a clear desk, Nick. I wish if you could see around here in front of me, the bit you can't see. This is about as clear as it's been for months. But yeah, okay. I've got to go. Thank you so much, guys. I hope that was useful or interesting. Uh, let me know if it was. And like I say, any questions, if you're watching this after the event, uh, just pop the questions below. And if I can, I will try and answer it for you. Cheers, guys. Hopefully see you tonight at six with Tom. Take care, guys.